Hey YouTube! Today we have a Photoshop tip, Photoshop tip, Photoshop tip, Photoshop tip, a Photoshop tip. Yeah! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, ee ho, hee ho, cheeky cheek in a big bowl. Like chickens, like to hatch them eggs, to eat them up, eat them up, poke low. Cheek, cheek, bong, cheek, bong, cheek, bong, chum. I love some chucky. All right. Hey, guys, welcome back to the Timmy Tube Network. Today, we're gonna do a short little video and it's a Photoshop tip and it's how to use the 3D effects in Photoshop. Um, and I use them in thumbnails, I use them in videos sometimes um, and it's fairly simple, it's an easy tip to do. Um, and uh, so, 3D Photoshop tip. Photoshop tip, Photoshop tip, let's do it right now <laughs> all right now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull in a graphic and now I'm just showing you the tips that I use and maybe to help you in your videos or whatever you you're using Photoshop for I use Photoshop in a lot of things not just videos but anyway what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick out a, a animation that I used in the past and we're just, I'm going to show you how to make it 3D. Um, I'll use something like, um, let's see here. Let's use uh, this, this here. And we're going to open it up with Photoshop. And um, I've already, it's a screen grab. It's actually not an animation, but it's a grab of an animation. So here is it's a JPEG and here is the photograph or the graphic so to speak and the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up here and duplicate the layer and um, and then I hide by clicking the little eye over here the background layer the background layer is locked and that's why I always duplicate the layer and if I make a mistake I can go back and reduplicate the background if need be so now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use the selection tool and uh, actually it's the magic wand tool. Um, I just use this because it's real quick and easy. Once you highlight it, hit delete and as you see the background is gone. So I'm going to click on all the areas with the blue and then go hit uh, deselect and then I'm going to scale the graphic, scale it on down. And this right here locks the graphic. Um, let me undo this to show you what happens if you don't lock the graphic. If you don't hit that little key, uh, the chain, it's a little chain, but it's actually a lock. But if you don't, do you see how it won't scale, uh, you know, it just it won't it'll it'll scale out of proportion but if you hit this little lock right up here now you could scale it to about the size you want and then you hit the lock and it automatically pops back to the size but anyway hit that lock come down here and scale it down a little bit I'd say something like that and then drag it to the center of the screen I'll hit apply for the scale. All right, so now we have this little graphic here and we wanna make it look 3D. So what we wanna do is go up here and this is what I do. You can actually scale the graphic itself, but I like to use the graphic itself as an overlay to the 3D. And the reason I do that is when you apply the 3D to this graphic, it kinda of changes the color and texture and stuff. So what I do is I go ahead and duplicate this layer and then I select the layer underneath of it because I want the good graphic on top and the 3D layer below it. 
So then I go up here to 3D, and then I click on New 3D Extrusion from Selected Layer. So I'll hit that. Now, if you notice, uh, there's a, it gives you a field of view uh, with the horizon back here. And I could, you know, I mean, you can see, well, let me turn off that layer and I'll scale it around for you. But see, there's the 3D truck, you see? So it gives it the appearance of 3D. That's kind of cool, right? <laughs> of course, to make it perfect, you would add colors to this, which you can. You can select every everything. You can select the top and change it like that. But I'm not going to do that because I'm just trying to make a little like thumbnail. So let's go ahead and select... Um, let's uh, not do that. Let's go back and hit uh, step backwards, edit, step backwards. Well, let's just delete that layer and start again. Um, so anyway, we got the graphic. Select the layer, duplicate layer. Select the layer beneath it and then go to 3D new 3D extru ex extrusion from a selected layer. So there we have the little 3D graphic and what I do is is I will rasterize the 3D. So in the 3D look it gives it a shadow, it makes it gives the wheels makes it look a little thicker. I mean it's not perfect and a lot of times I will scale this down and put a bunch of 3D graphics in one scene. But this is what I do also. I will actually take the uh, the polygonal lasso tool and I will go up here like this just to give it a little bit more believable 3D effect to it. And um, go like that and then hit delete. And what that did it just made it look like she's inside the cab there so now I go up here to and I uh, and I hit shift and that way it selects both layers and then I go down to merge layers so now this is one graphic whoops um sorry about that hit select tool by accident um, you grab the um, move tool and now you can move it around and put it wherever you want. So let's go back to edit, transform, scale, lock the scale. And let's just say this is one graphic. So let's open up another graphic file, open. And let's go back to another graphic. Uh, let's try... Um, Let's do this little pink bug. So what we're going to do is go over here to background, duplicate layer, hide the background layer, quick selection tool, or actually the magic wand tool. Select the blue, delete, 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 delete. delete. Now, if you hit the shift, um, do you see down here where the magic wand is? There's a plus. See that little plus popping in there? Well, this means that you can select a bunch of things. So you can do that, too, if you have a lot of stuff you want to delete. So just uh, select it all that you want to delete and then hit delete. Make sure you go up here to select and deselect because if you try to do anything, it's only going to do whatever you want in the selected area. So make sure you deselect. Let's go back up here. We're going to scale this down. Hit the lock scale and then scale it on down. Um, I think the other one was about this size. I don't remember. But anyway, 
Now we hit apply, duplicate layer, select the middle layer, which is below this top layer, 3D, new extrusion. And there we go. Now we have the 3D bug. And that one turned out pretty good because it's actually got some of the cab in there. So go over here, rasterize 3D, shift, select to select both layers, merge layers, pull this window down, click on it and drag it to the new win to the other window. So now we've got two vehicles that are in a 3D looking type um, graphic. So let's say that you wanted to put a title that was on there and it was also 3D. Well, here, let me show you how that works. So you go down to text. Now let's just type in And I typed in 3D graphics. Okay, let me uh, make a new layer. And then I'm gonna do a great, um, I'm gonna um, actually fill this layer. And I'm gonna just do white. So I'm gonna fill the layer with white. And I'm doing this so you can see the graphics better. Um, a lot of times I'll go over here to a gradient overlay and I will add little color to it. Let's do something like this. And um, you can also set the, the opacity so you can lighten it up a bit. And let's reverse it for now. All right, so here, here's our word, 3D graphics. Now I'm gonna go up here to edit and I'm gonna to go to transform and I'm gonna scale the, the uh, text there. I'm gonna lock it so it stays in proportion. Now I'm gonna place this down here. Now the reason why I'm placing this down here is so you can see how it looks at the bottom of the screen. Okay, so let's go up here just like we did the graphics, duplicate layer, okay? And now select the bottom layer of the of the text there go up here to 3d new 3d extrusion now check that out isn't that cool it gave it a it looks like you're looking down at the letters and it gave it a, a 3d um, effect right so you can see that it actually gave it the letters 3d and i think that looks kind of cool put a shadow underneath but because of the p is below the line it actually made it look like it was raised up so i mean it looks like it's standing on the the p there but anyway that's just to show you what you can do with this and a lot of times i'll go up here to the blending options and i'll hit stroke and it just makes it pop a little bit more when you're using these 3d graphics okay so now let's try it again but let's do let's bring these bad boys down and let's say you wanted like a superman you know like a comic book superman graphics duplicate the layer select the bottom of the duplicated layer select the bottom layer over here go to 3d new 3d extrusion now look see how that did it actually looks like the uh, the graphic if you put it up here then you see the bottom you put it down here you see the top so depending on where you put it on the screen it gives it the 3d uh, look to it and that's only if in the 3d uh, area you know, you move this, see how it moves the 3D graphic? So anyway, that is how you do 3D graphics in Photoshop. Um, I mean, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. 
Um, there's other 3D tools you can use in here. Um, you can do a mesh. Um, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, now, Illustrator, if let's say you wanted to do um, like a... Um, I don't know, like a cylinder or something like that. I would use Illustrator for that because there's a, uh, a tool or a filter or whatever in Illustrator that allows you to do 3D um, cylinders and stuff like that. And let me just give you an example. Let me pull something up, um, see if I can find it first. <laughs> Bear with me, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, it's not there. Let's see if it's here. Yes. Okay. Let me open this. Oh, opened up the wrong program. Um, what do I? Let's see. Open with Photoshop. Now, this is a 3D graphic that I did it in Illustrator, but I brought it over to um, uh, Photoshop and create a... See how that 3D cylinder looks? I did the car in Photoshop, but I did these 3D cylinders in Illustrator. And another day, I'll show you how I make these cylinders in Illustrator. But today, we're just doing 3D Photoshop. So, um, so anyway, that's our Photoshop tip of the day, 3D graphics in Photoshop. And that is that. All right. All right. I hope you enjoyed the tip on how to use the 3D effects in Photoshop. I hope it, you learned something and I hope that you can use it in your videos or presentation or whatever you do so uh, please like comment subscribe do all the stuff you need to do to stay updated with the newest videos so until next time on the timmy tube network we'll see you later all right i love some chucky i like beef chutney beef chutney beef 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 chutney beef, 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 beef. Beef, beef chutney, beef, beef, beef chutney, beef, beef chutney. I like a big fat beef chutney.